And welcome in, everybody, to a brand new edition of your favorite sports podcast, Sports Extra Uncut. I hope everyone is out there doing a great, fantastic job on this windy Tuesday in Terre Haute on Indiana State's campus. I'm Kobe Clark. Alongside me, CJ Cooper. CJ Cooper. What is going on, CJ? How are you today? I'm doing great, Kobe. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back here. Uh, long first week, and uh, I'm just so excited to get to hear our bracket. And I'm so excited to learn about free agency. So I think this is going to be a great show. Man, you already spoiled it for everyone. (laughs) But yes, that is exactly what we're going to be talking about. If you haven't already seen our tweet on Twitter, which you should be following. I don't know why the post notifications aren't on either. At WZISFM. Plug that. As always, we're going to be doing our own uh, NCAA March Madness bracket. Uh, We're going to be filling it out. Just going through the teams, who we think is going to win. And ultimately come down to a decision on... One side of my bracket, who do you think will have the better bracket? We'll have to find that out. And then just NFL free agency. It's been a hectic 48, 72 hours of everything going on right now. So we're going to have to focus in on that. So, CJ, I want to let you just take a deep dive into all this. Because when you look at this bracket, we obviously, there's one team we hope that almost made it (laughs) was ISU. But we did not get there. We were right there, though, guys. I promise. We were right there. I promise you. We were. We were. We were pretty close. I'd say, um, obviously. But I mean, I like honestly keep... think that we would have gave Drake a better game than Bradley. Oh, you did. mean you think Brad? We would have gave a better game to, to Drake. Oh, easily. I mean, easily. But... I mean, I think that our guard play is way better than Bradley, and uh, I just feel like we are a tough team to stop when we're hot because we can shoot the three ball so well. Right. So we would have gave Drake a shootout type of game. I just think Bradley didn't have the weapons to go at Drake, and we've seen that in the championship game. And when you look back on it, Indiana State and Drake, the both times they played on the season, both came down to like the final shot. Yeah. It's like, I know that Indiana State had such a good chance. It's just Bradley, man, I want to go back in time and just relive that moment because I know there could have been a better opportunity than that one shot. Honestly. It was not a lot of time, though. Yeah, I mean, it's three seconds on the clock, and you have to kind of take that shot, and that's kind of hero ball. I won't yeah. say hero ball, but, like, it was – you live for those moments as a kid, so you want to take that shot. But I think that we could have drew up a little something better so that okay. it could be more of a successful look. And also, I think you can't call that call. I mean, it's a loose, I ball, agree. loose ball foul, but at the same time, they're both going for the ball. I, that literally changed the whole game. Calls like that in a minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, you just can't They weren't let calling it all day, and then all of a sudden, just the unlucky bounce that ball took off the back of the rim. Exactly. Falling right into the hands of Leon's. It was just, ugh, unfortunate. But Still makes me cringe. Hey, we number day. one seed CBI. Beat that. <laughs> I don't see Bama doing it. Not at all. I don't see Houston doing it. Not at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but uh, I think any of say they're going to do a good job at CBI. It's going to be fun just watching them. It's just knowing because all, like, the pressure is off of the MVC tournament where it's now like, all right, let's have a good time, relax, hang out, but also still go out there and compete and win. Exactly. Knowing that it's not your real final time. You're always still going to have that bond and relationships with the teammates and friends and coaching staff. So I like to see it turn out in a way. I think we will win. I mean, we're the number one seed going in, and uh, I'm excited for them. I hope that they have a successful tournament and they just dominate so that the national teams can start realizing that, man, Indiana State deserves a chance at the a little bit. March Madness or even NIT. Give us a chance. That's all we ask. And I hope we can finally get that. Just the one seed in CBI that close to NIT. Shout out Cooper Nice. He said on – Twitter, he, he didn't think – he did think that they deserved to be in the NIT. He didn't see all – none yeah. of that. It was like, well, come on, man. Like, <laughs> what? I can understand his frustration, though, absolutely. But I can also see where people make the case for them not to be, like a 21-win school in the MVC. MVC is a lower school. I get that. But I digress, I guess. So uh, before we get into this bracket, though, CJ, I want to ask you a few questions. Pretty much just like, hey, what are your favorite and fond memories – of college basketball in March Madness because there's been so many great memories so many that's been great made memories. in the history and in recent years. Um, so me personally, um, I want to go back to 2014, Michigan, Trey Burke. Ooh, I just feel like Trey Burke one. was just amazing in March Madness. Like That was during the time that I loved basketball. 
So like I was just trying to be Trey Burke. He was a small guard, six Trey foot. Trey Burke, shout out, Stockton amazing. King. He's on the Stockton Kings. Yep. Dog in him. He's a dog, and uh, <laughs> he was just amazing at Michigan. He just had great uh, chemistry. He had a great handle, smooth, efficient. Just knew where to go with the basketball. I think he was one of the best uh, college basketball point guards in a long time. Okay, the man, because like 2014, that's a little bit of a blur for me. I'm trying to. Remember. Yeah, that's. They got to the final four. They lost, but I think. Um, wasn't that the year UConn won? Yeah. Yeah, UConn and Shabazz and Napier, Napier. man. That's a name. <laughs> man, Shabazz was so tough, though. Like, he was – he uh, had LeBron thinking about staying in Miami. Yeah. You remember Miami yeah. drafted him in the first round? I remember that. Yeah, he was hooping <laughs> in the March Madness. And he didn't they have, like, a – up cra- for yeah, him. exactly. He didn't have, like, a crazy regular season either that year. But his March Madness, he was averaging, like, 27.8 points a game. Like, man, Shabazz was tough. I don't think he was a first round pick at all, at all. But, but the fact that LeBron was like, I "Well, know. I mean, I might I have to might stay, stay if they take Shabazz," and then they traded up for him and he left. That, that that is an underrated cold moment of LeBron's career. Someone has to do research on that. Somebody has to. But shout out <laughs> LeBron for even giving Shabazz a chance to get a, be a first round pick because if he wouldn't have said that, I highly doubt he'd be a first round pick. Oh. But. <laughs> doubt. I don't know. Hey, he was a hooper. I mean, he won with uh, Kemba back in yep. 2011. He's a two-time. Yeah, hey, he was he's got a good career. Yeah, he has a good college I don't know career. What he's, I, I got to find out what he's doing now. I think he's overseas at the moment. Is he but, really? Yeah, I mean, he was a pretty good guy. I don't know what team he was last on in the NBA. He was on Portland. I knew that. Oh, was it Washington he was last on? Yeah. What? Because when John Wall wasn't playing at all, <laughs> they gave Shabazz a chance. So That's he was true. a great guy. Yeah, I, I don't even see. Yeah, he plays for a Puerto Rican professional basketball. My point, overseas. <laughs> so, hey, shout out Shabazz Napier. You were a dog, and I remember you specifically for one of those moments. And college basketball in general, it was good. It was just good. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. For me, I'm trying to remember. I It's definitely probably the title game of North Carolina and Nova, because everyone talks about that from 2016. Yeah. Seeing how just uh, Marcus Page comes down, knocks down that three, and he was just an acrobatic. Like, yeah. In no timeouts, they got to go, or I think maybe they call it timeout. I don't remember exactly, but he goes goes down. Archie Diakno gives it away, three-pointer up. Oh, my god! That was a was beautifully so drawn nasty. play. I wanted uh, North Carolina to win. I did, I did I, too. It hurt. I did too. And that shot just came off just so beautiful out of his hand. I just like, man, I just know that was going in. Another moment that I really always think about during uh March Madness is the run Loyola had. Oh when obviously. they was beating everybody. I uh, mean Loyola with uh sister Jean. Mm-hmm. It was just a Cinderella story. They were literally beating everybody by like two points. Yep. And they didn't have like really a star. They had a whole bunch of really good role players. And for them to keep being those big teams and big teams and big teams, and me being from Ham, Indiana, which is like 30 minutes from Loyola, the city was rocking. So, As like, that should. was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, they're not even in our conference anymore. That's how good they got. But yeah. they're not good this year. <laughs> they actually got worse. So Yeah, eh. way worse. Hey, shout out to them. Shout out to Loyola. NBC is tougher than you guys think, man. Put some respect on NBC tournament. Facts. Facts. That's from a D1 athlete. Listen up. <laughs> no, uh, I'm trying to remember back because I there's always like those certain teams that like Oral Roberts from just a year ago. Yeah. That one was fun. That was like the Loyola of that year. Yeah. So and they played Duke first round, which is on here. Oh, I love college basketball so much. So much. I take a better appreciation of it getting to work in college basketball. So getting to take that knowledge in and run with it here. It just goes to show that when you pay attention, it actually all makes sense. Yeah, and, and it also shows that, like, it don't matter how big a school you go to. It don't matter Power 5, SEC, ACC. These guys from these small schools are hungry, and these guys are appreciative of the opportunity to be in March Madness. Almost, so they want to go at people's heads. No, I agree. That's what I love so much about March Madness. I love just seeing all, like, the underdog stories. Yeah. But the one I forgot to mention – was Florida Gulf Coast back in I forgot 2013, about that. man. I'm glad you mentioned that. I literally forgot about them, but they, they were, was beautiful, too. Who they? They beat Michigan State. I think that was who they beat. Yeah, they beat them first round, I think. Yeah, they were 15. They was like the 15-16 seed. <laughs> oh, 
And then obviously UM, UMS. Oh, from UMS. Baltimore. I remember what yeah, you're talking about. They beat Virginia, and then the next year they won. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, whatever. No, but let's just get in right into this, uh, CJ. The first matchup. We're gonna be going obviously traditionally top to bottom, and then yep. we're, gonna, we're just gonna do the whole first round until we get into the middle. Who do you have winning? <laughs> As most of these guys, I mean, obviously there's a matchup tonight and a few in the next couple of days. Yeah. Just 14th and 15th. Uh, I'm taking Alabama. No matter who it is, T-A-M-U, C-C, or C-M-U, which I believe is Southern Eastern Missouri. Yeah, it is. I'm taking Bama. There's just no way. Um, I think Bama, Bama is too good. Yeah, see – a lot of people were expecting me to make this hot take right now and say uh, Texas A&M, CC, but because they're a 23-10 and 10 team, very efficient on the offense end, um, have a lot of role players, uh, long, lengthy, explosive, but I'm going to take Alabama as well. I just believe that Texas A&M, CC will beat Missouri State, but after that, I think their tournament run is over. I got Alabama. In an easy game, I wouldn't say easy because it's March Madness, but in a not as challenging game right there as they will be. Yeah. Now, I'm like most of you guys. like I don't know a whole lot about specific teams, nor really, sh- I mean, should I? Probably. <laughs> but at the same time, I just go with the flow. I focus on just the majority of like, the top national teams. Like I'm not going to be paying attention a whole lot to West Virginia, but I have been seeing Maryland on the year. And I've been paying attention because they are in the Big Ten. I would go with Maryland over West Virginia just because I'm more familiar with them, which is probably the downfall of a lot of people. So for this take, I'm going to go uh, West Virginia because okay. uh, no, I get you. Maryland hasn't shown me a lot. Maryland has a lot of up-and-down games. And West Virginia has always been consistent in just playing defense. I mean, they're not a really great offensive team, but – they are very good defensively, and uh, Maryland just is too on and off for me. So I'm going to go with uh, West Virginia, and I think the Alabama-West Virginia will meet in the second round. Now, I don't know about if you know this or not, but I think like the most likely outcome of any upset is the 12-5 and five seed. And uh, that's been shown recently, like mm-hmm. in years. I don't know why, but every time I see the number 5 and the number 12, that's which is what pops in my head when they're together. So... Mm, San Diego State is is an interesting one, but you look at Charleston; they're thirty one and three. Like, I have to low key go Charleston just because not only it's. I mean, history's on my side with that. Yeah, Charleston should be happy that they got this opportunity being thirty one and three. I mean, great team. Um, but I can't give them that credit because they play nobody. So, because of that, I'm going San Diego State. At least I know that they play in a really, very good conference. Um, they play really good in the championship round at their conference. They're in, uh, Charleston's in the Colonial Athletic Association. Exactly. I don't even think our viewers know where that is. Nah. Who's in that conference to tell them? I have probably no clue. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they have no chance. <laughs> so, I'm going with uh, San Diego It's mostly State. on the East Coast from, like, uh, it's headquartered in Richmond. Like I'm trying to find a few teams here. Like, there's not a whole lot that a lot like the University of Delaware, yeah, Drexel. Come yeah, come on, um, y'all. Hofstra. Yeah, that thirty-one like, three record. I'm not. The University of North Carolina at Wilmington. Yeah, I'm not. So yeah, you're not that. gonna yeah, I'm, I'm, no. North Carolina A and T State. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, uh-uh. I'll t- <laughs> hey, I'll take Charleston just because of the idea in my head. I w- I can't be completely like normal because everyone's gonna take that. They're gonna take an upset. Uh, I'm gonna take another one here. I'm gonna take Furman. I was looking at Furman before this, and they actually average like 15 more points on the season. Yeah. Than Virginia, and I think Virginia they're deep. They've played a lot of competition. Don't get me wrong. Respect to them, 25 and seven. But I think Furman, with just the layout of how their shooting can go, I'll go with Furman. Actually, Kobe, that's not a bad choice. I actually at don't all. like Virginia yeah, either way. That's so. not a bad choice at all because I'm looking at their recent games, and uh, Furman has 88, 83, 73, 
93, 70, and 83. So what that tells me is they like to uh, play fast pace and they can shoot the ball. On average, it's shooting 41.9 shooting from the field, which is amazing. But they are allowing their opponents to an average of 66.5 points per game. So what I'm t- what that tells me is that the teams that they have been playing, like Western Carolina, Mercer, uh, East Tennessee State, Samford, not Stanford, but Samford. Yeah. Uh, they are going to get, not embarrassed, because nobody in March Madness gets embarrassed, but I'm going to go Virginia because Virginia has played pretty good teams. But not only that, Virginia can stop people. They have really good guard play, and they're very long on the perimeter. And I think that Furman shot, they're not going to be able to hit as many uh, jump shots in the tournament because of that long length. So I'm going to go with Virginia. No, I get that. If you want to take Virginia, that's cool. I mean, they have had some pretty good players come through there in the last couple of years. Um, Shout out to Indiana alum, you know, Kyle guy. Facts. That's so true. Yeah, I think what's he doing over? He's doing. Over. Uh, he I has think a he's camp. In, I know he runs. That. He's a camp. He runs all the time. But I think that he's uh, in the G League right now. I don't think he's Is in the he league in the G right league? now. You're making me keep googling because now I'm just interested in every guy like Shabazz Napier and now Kyle Guy. Like, I know yeah, he I got he has longer league. hair. He was on Miami. He was. They thought he was Tyler Hero, but that didn't work out. No, <laughs> no, Kyle Joseph Guy. I where did he go to high school? Uh, Lawrence North. Yep. That's insane, man. I love seeing just players like where I grew up and watched in high school just go blow. farther. Yeah. Go for them. Good for them. Uh, I mean, if he, he says no, he plays overseas. Uh, I cannot. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut myself off because I cannot pronounce that name. But he's in the Liga ACB. Okay. I don't know the name of the school. It's okay. right in front of me, but you guys can pronounce that ever which way you'd less so like. <laughs> Creighton in North Carolina State. McDermott's hmm. the head coach there. Yeah. I know his son Doug. He's pretty cool. Great shooter. Always. Creighton always has like just decent shooters, and yeah. I just don't understand why every time it's like that. Um, mm, they're not doing the hottest. It says right here they're down. Uh, they have a, a six-game losing streak to end the season. Oh, man. I want to take Creighton, but that's only because like I know more about them. And North Carolina State is so, like, heavy on their defense. I'm going to take Creighton. I I think I'm Mm going to take Creighton. I'll take Creighton. Okay. So, I'm going to take North Carolina State because uh, even though they got embarrassed by Clemson, 80-54, to if you viewers know that, they're 23-10. and Uh, They only lost to Duke by four points in Duke Stadium. Well, Duke is not good. Yeah, but they're still Duke. And to go in there and only lose by four points shows me a lot about what I need to see. They're not scared of anybody. They're competitors. And they are very good on defense end. North Carolina State beat Virginia Tech by 20 coming into this. And they also beat North Carolina. Even though North Carolina is not good this year, they still North Carolina. And to go in there and just take it from them, especially February 19th where they were trying to get in the March Madness, that shows me that they have the grind, the grit, and the determination. So... I'm going to go North Carolina State, and I think that Creighton, I'm sorry, Duck, but your dad is losing first <laughs> round. All right, all right. Baylor and UC Santa Barbara? Nah, I'm taking Baylor. Yeah. Uh, like, you cannot confuse it. There's just no way around no. it. I'm uh, going Baylor as well. I don't got to make a big uh, speech on that <laughs> one. Baylor's defense and their guard play. Missouri and Utah State. Hmm. This one just spoke to me. As soon as I looked at it, this was just a Utah State win. I don't know why my brain thought of it as that, but I can just see Utah State defeating Missouri, who I give credit, they're an SEC team. Like, Don't get me wrong. But I have not really seen them in really football or basketball really take that next jump. So I don't know. I'm I just like the idea of taking Utah State here because there's like I always said, there's always that one. It's better to take more than one just to be safe. Um, <clears throat> I kind of have ties with Missouri because of Dre Golston. He's from the uh, region, and uh, he's been playing good. Number four. I don't know if you got if you know him, but uh, he's pretty good starting guard. And uh, besides that, I'm not gonna be biased. But Missouri 
has been playing really good of late. I mean, they lost Alabama in the SEC championship, and Alabama just got hot at the end. But Missouri outplayed them. And then Missouri beat Tennessee 79-71. They beat Ole Miss, and they beat Mississippi State. They were on a five-game winning streak before they lost Alabama. So I think they're still going to be hot, but they're going to be angry that they lost to the SEC championship. And I think Utah State is Utah State. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Missouri on this one. Uh, shout out Princeton, but there's no way they're going to defeat Arizona. There's just no way. Arizona is full of athletes, whereas Princeton is really just a lot of smart people go there. But <laughs> That's it, very biased don't statement. For, don't do that. <laughs> they don't go there for athletics. I mean, it's just... I mean, maybe back very long time ago, yes, but not anymore. Not in 2023. I feel like Princeton can come up with a game plan <laughs> that would kill out Arizona, but I got to go Arizona because it's Arizona. They're good. They're on a win streak. And, I mean, Princeton, they lost eight games in the Ivy League. So that tells you something. I can't put my eggs in this basket. So, uh. I'm going Arizona. Okay. Not that many hot takes in this bracket, but yeah. In I mean, the next bracket, it should be. Trust me. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Um, in the next region, we have the East region. It is Purdue taking on either Texas Southern or FDU. This one is not easy either. I mean, Matt Painter, Zach Eady. This whole team is built for this season. If any seed, I said this last year, and I know I sound stupid saying it, but I said last year, if any year is Purdue's year, it's last. It was that year. Mm -hmm. But now, three hundred sixty-five days later, I'm looking at Purdue here. Now I'm saying the same thing because they've only gotten better. Zach Eady has only improved. He is a dominant force in all of college basketball. He is a dominant force. Kobe, but we got to realize that Purdue cannot handle the press to save their life. I mean, look at what happened with Penn State. They were up 16 points. Penn State began to press them, and the game was almost over. I mean, Purdue's guard play has to improve. They have a great center, don't get me wrong, and Purdue always has great centers. But Purdue always, on good years, either lose in the first round or Sweet 16. This year, they got lucky because they're playing Texas Southern or FDU. I'm going to go FDU because Texas Southern is 14 and 20. And uh, I don't know how they got in the tournament, but <laughs> they're 14 and 20. They do not belong there. That should be the Sycamores right there, but that's a different story. I, I, don't, so, know how, <laughs> I don't know how that's chosen. I but say. because of that, uh, I'm going go to go Purdue. That has an automatic bid. <laughs> it is. It, all, it is. But uh, I'm going to go Purdue. Good. But I like the choice. I don't think that they're going to go far this year. but You don't think Purdue's going to go far? Mm -hmm. you go see next round. Uh, okay. Memphis and Florida Atlantic. Every time I watch a Memphis game with Penny Hardaway, he's the head coach. Memphis, I they always lose. So <laughs> I'm not taking Memphis. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I don't like the vibe that Memphis is going for. I'm going to take FAU. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, no, I was just waiting for you to, to start uh, writing. Okay, so uh, oh, FAU, good. FAU, uh, also CJ such a gentleman. <laughs> also has region ties because uh, Janelle Davis, sixth man of the year in the conference, in the Atlantic Conference, I should say, USA Conference. Um, he won sixth man of the year. But I'm sorry, family, but uh, I'm going Memphis. Memphis played brilliant against Houston. They have great – that guard, he's kind of old, so he might not go – he's not going to go first round, but he's a dog. He's dominant. He's hungry. I listened to his press game speech, and he just said, I came back another year because I wanted Penny Hardaway to get some respect on his name. That is a great point. So I said, okay, I like that guy. I got I got confidence in that guy, and they're hungry. Uh, they had a lot of distractions last year with Imani Bates because everybody thought that they were going to be so much more better. But 365 yeah. days later, they come back and they're hungry, they're aggressive, and man, I like Memphis. You uh, will see though. I like right. Memphis. All right, go for it. Go for it. I bet you're gonna take Memphis over Purdue. I already know yeah. you are. You know me exactly. 
Duke and Oral Roberts. I already made this decision, and I'm sticking with it. Oral Roberts. Okay. Not only just because of what happened last year, but Duke really has not impressed me at all. I mean, they're they were what like top five, top ten in the AP. I thought. Yeah, they they weren't amazing this year. They, they just they Duke. are not like Duke is not them. Not this. They're not. They're like North Carolina, but Alrighty. North Carolina is worse. Alrighty, let's stop that right there. That was there. a weird and like if I ever see a, I get college game day does Duke and North Carolina. Okay, cool, but I don't want to watch it when both teams are unranked. Yeah, I don't want that. Get out of my face. They're both unranked. They're not good. <laughs> so I will take Oral Roberts. Okay, but obviously if uh, I know it's Duke, that's what everyone's saying. But it's Duke. I know it's Duke. I'm taking Oral Roberts. That's the so, end of my discussion. A lot of people are gonna say, "Oh, you remember when C.J. McCollum beat Duke in the first round? Oh, you remember when um, they were just not a good these people, these really people strong. beat Duke in the first round? Look, Cinderella, Ori Roberts. It's twelve o'clock. The shoe's gone. Um, <laughs> Duke is gonna beat Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts had a great year, being thirty and four. But I'm sorry, Oral, it's gone for you. <laughs> uh yeah, Cinderella time is up. Uh I appreciate you for getting in the tournament, but I'm sorry. Your time is done. Now, next 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 game with Tennessee and Louisiana is very interesting because yeah. I I'm going to going to say uh, say it straight up. I'm going to take Tennessee, but for the example I'm giving you, just listen out. Tennessee was like what number 1 and then all of a sudden they just went they, cold. They fell back. They went cold, but then they were to go defeat Bama. Mm-hmm. So, like, they are definitely – I think they could be higher than a four seed, and four seed's pretty high for a Tennessee team like this on the year. I just like what they're bringing out. And I think with every, like, misconception that they have brought on the year, there's something that they're hiding, and I think Tennessee's going to show that out here. I mm-hmm. mean, they already were fluctuating up and down, yeah. but I think I'm going to rock with them here. So, Tennessee – I like Tennessee because – I mean, Louisiana, don't get me wrong, they're on a five-game win streak right now. But they lost to James Madison. Like, no. Yeah. Get out and of here. then they had a close game with Arkansas State, who's 13-20. and 20. Like, we, they beat Texas State, who's 16-9. and 16-19, and 19, I'm sorry. 64-58. to 58. You having too many close games with bumps. I can't put you against the SEC team. And you only beat South Alabama by five points. So because of that, I'm going to have to go Tennessee. And, uh, yeah, Tennessee will win this first round. I could really see Tennessee making it to the championship, which is very weird to say. Tennessee, yeah. We, we'll talk about that later, but, man. Kentucky-Providence, similar records, but two different conferences. There's no way I'm taking not Kentucky. I think the Wildcats, I mean – they are so weird, man. They should be always consistently number one, but they're not. They've really fallen flat since like 2016. Yeah, I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't say probably after De'Aaron Fox, which was 2017. True. True. After that, yeah, they haven't been the same at all. I mean, I couldn't like who was really that last great player that besides Davis or Fox, I guess. Yeah, great. Davis is 30 now, so yeah. that's 11 years ago. And they had that crazy class of Cat, which, yeah, I guess Cat, Booker. Um, Still. They had Wall, Boogie. I mean, the 2010s were dominant by Kentucky. Yeah, the 2010s. But, but you know what all those teams had there. in common? They can't get it done in a big dance. Nope. So, Providence. I like Providence. I like them a lot, but... I can't. I like him a lot. I like him a lot, but uh, I can't go with them. I'm sorry. I mean, they lost to Xavier 94 to 89. They lost to Seton Hall, who's not even in the tournament, 17 and 15, 82 to 58. You almost lost by 30 to Seton Hall, and you lost by 18 points to a UConn team. And then, yeah, I just they're too up and down for me. They're not consistent. They give up a lot on the uh, three-point end, and nah. No, I get you. No. I, I can't go with them. So I'm going to go with Kentucky. I feel like their center is going to have a good first-round game, but uh, I don't think he's going to have that dominant of a tournament. He showed me last tournament that he can't, he gets in foul trouble too easily, and uh, Kentucky just doesn't have the players that they used to, like what you were saying, Kobe. So we're going to see, but. 
in the first round, they should be good. Now, for me, this was just probably one of my – I did a bracket, like, right before this, like, because I was just doing it with my friends, just messing around. And they were like, here, can you be, like, our last one? I'm like, sure, yeah. So I'll fill it out, fill it out. And the only reason I chose this team was because of the documentary I saw – and watched and know about already, but I saw the documentary. It was uh, Keontae Johnson and how his journey coming back after mm-hmm. he collapsed when he was in Florida. That was four years ago. Here he is. Uh, it's just a crazy thing. I could honestly probably have them going just because of based off his skill level. Like He was going to be a lottery selection in the draft if he was healthy and stayed at Florida. But regardless of that, I'm going to take Kansas State. I think they have a pretty solid um, just all-around effort and just know, knowing his story. I mean, he was a John Wooden Award finalist. Like, that's yeah. crazy. I mean, the only ones that you could think – I mean, Zach Eady, he might win. but he. Uh, you like also got to think about Keontae and how, like, he was first during the COVID. You know, nobody really knew about COVID, and he passed out, and they blamed COVID, and then the world was just like, oh, my gosh, you got to stop this. But, man – uh, Kansas State does have a beautiful story. Continue what you were saying. But COVID. no, yeah, I mean, it wasn't COVID, and like it was obviously something with his heart. And yeah, it's happy to know that he's good now. And that's he's amazing. About, out got there playing ball. Kind of really messed up that Florida didn't like give him another chance. Yeah, like uh, I know it's college basketball. I know, I know it's, it's a just, business. It's world. It's the world. So. It's, I know it's a business, but man, this guy risked it all for you, and for him not to be able to have a consistent spot on his team. Shows a lot about the coaching staff. But that's beyond the point. All We're right. not going to get on that. But, uh, man, this is going to be hard. Bro. I'm going to try. I'm sorry. We're, we're not even halfway uh, through. Yeah, yet. Uh, yeah, we're not even halfway through. I'm sorry, you viewers. But, hey, we love you. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> I love Keontae's story. I love it. Uh, I love the documentary. But I'm sorry to break Keontae's heart. But one and done, baby. Montana oh, State. You're kidding. What? Montana Stay! Who hired you? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> he did, Sally. Look, Montana State is going on a six-game win streak at the moment. Yes, they had some questionable wins with beating Sacramento State only by four points, but they beat Northern Colorado by 11 points. They haven't really played anybody, but they are fast, quick, efficient. They get up and down the court, and I just feel like uh, Kansas State has the dogs to go up and down the court with them. But I think that their coach holds them back to an extent. So because of that, I'm going to go Montana State. They're going to shock the world. I think Kansas State's a fake three seed now that I really think about it. Because, like, I'm looking at all these wins. I'm like, yeah, they play They lost at Texas, but they beat TCU. Then they win against Iowa State and Baylor. And then they lose to TCU again. I'm like, what? A three seed would be that? I don't know about that one. Montana State. Okay. Michigan State and USC. Wow, that's really good. That's really. Wow, that's a pretty good. They're both like. That's a matchup right there. That's a really good matchup. I don't know. My bracket might be messed up after day one. I'm taking USC. I don't think Michigan State has it. Uh, definitely a sad story in what all has developed over there in the last couple of months. Prayers to everyone involved. Um, just seeing them keep fighting is very impressive. But I think USC, I don't know, man. They just bring something to the table. Just every year, they always like shine out of the tournament. Yeah, always. So I'm going to take the Trojans. Uh, I like Michigan State. I like them a lot because, uh, like you said, I think that they're going to have a different – uh, mentality. I think all the stuff that has af- happened in Michigan State is going to make the players come together more if it hasn't already. And I think that they're going to really bond together in America. They're going to be like, not the Cinderella team because they're too good to be a Cinderella team, but they're going to be like a world treasure. And what I mean by that is they're going like to be that. inspired. Like people going to, they might make a movie about this team because like, man, after all this, that they still able to go this far in March Madness. They still held together. They still was close-knitted group. So I'm going to go Michigan State. I'm sorry I didn't give USC that much love, but you lose to Arizona State. You lose to uh, Arizona. 
and you only beat Colorado by 20. Even though that sounds crazy, Colorado played nobody, and they're terrible. Shout out Prime, though. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, football going to be fun over football there. Football going to be fun, but basketball is not. So, um, USC, uh, you will – not USC, I'm sorry. Michigan State, you will be advancing to Columbus. It, I respect it. Um, Marquette. I swear they only got a 2C because they won the, uh, the, the Big East. I, I think that's the only reason. But Vermont, I mean, no. I'm going Marquette. I don't really have to entertain the thought of this one. Yeah, I, I'm going with Kobe as well. I mean, sometimes Kobe don't make the greatest takes, but uh, this one he made a great take. <laughs> um, You're crazy. Marquette's going to dominate Vermont. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a game, honestly. Uh, Same with this one, Houston. I'm not taking Northern Kentucky over Houston. I just cannot. Houston has always been like a very consistent like uh, Final Four for me. Yeah. In the last couple of years, but they've always like ended up disappointing me. But they have made it as well. But they just haven't really gotten over the hump. I think Houston. Maybe this might be their year. Who knows? I'm about to find out. Um, Houston played Memphis last well, two days ago, I believe, and uh, I'm going to take them against Northern Kentucky because Northern Kentucky. But they showed me a lot of flaws. This is not the Houston of the last two years. So I'm going to take Houston, but don't get comfortable, Houston. <laughs> don't like get future. Don't, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm taking Auburn over Iowa. I like Auburn. Um, the SEC is just, I know Iowa's Big Ten. Auburn has just looked a little better. They also have been a very up and down team, though. Like, they've been able to compete with the best of, like, Bama and Tennessee. Like, if you could compete with those kind of names, I just don't see Iowa keeping up. And even though they had that crazy game where they came back, like, down almost 10, like, in, like, less than a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to Auburn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Iowa showed me a lot of flaws. They're too slow. Um, I love Auburn's coaching staff. I love the coach. Uh, I love the guard player in Auburn. I think that they get them uh, NBA ready faster. Uh, Jabari Smith is just having a hard time because he's playing in Houston, which is basically AAU basketball at the moment. <laughs> but uh, I believe <laughs> Auburn is going to win. I think that Iowa is just not going to compete. I think it will be a pretty good game, but I think that Auburn is going to prevail. And uh, Iowa just didn't show me a lot in the Big Ten tourney. Now hear me out. We got the MVC winner, Drake, taking on Miami of Florida. Oh, what's that I see? A 12 and a 5 seed? Give me Drake. Give me Drake. I'm taking Tucker to freeze Roman Penn to dog Miami. Miami's always been inconsistent. And you can tell, you can, like, that's just in sports in general for them because they have always just been high expectations and then just flat out disappointment. Their fans will tell you that 100%. Drake, I like what they're bringing to the table. I think Drake, honestly, I'm going to probably shock a lot of you next round, but I like Drake defeating Miami. Uh, Kobe, I like you so much because we have similar takes. Man, I, w I was hoping that you said Miami so I could shock the world, but nope, you beat me to it. I hate uh, it. Drake is uh, too, Drake is good. Don't uh, get me wrong. Um, Roman's probably listening to this, so uh, I can't <laughs> wait for you to uh, go crazy against Miami. Uh, DJ as well, both region heads, 219, shout out. But, uh, man, Tucker. I think he's going to shock a lot of people in this tournament. Uh, he doesn't get the respect that he deserves because he plays in NBC, but he has all the tools. 6'7", can shoot, quick, long. I think that he's going to uh, be on a message to try to prove that he's he's dominant and he should be playing at the next level. Good. And Miami just he's doesn't play freshman, the defense. Dude. He's a sophomore. Or sophomore, my apologies. Yeah, he's a sophomore right now. But, I mean, look at it. They lost to Florida State, who's 9-23. Um, in my head, I was thinking of the game when like yeah. Robbie, and I decided Robbie was a freshman on the line. Uh, yeah, which Indiana State gave them a good game, but yeah, Wake Forest they only beat them by two points. Miami just hasn't dominated anybody. They lost to Duke. We just talked about Duke. I don't like them. Miami's just off the name. I'm going Drake, baby. Just off the name, uh, just like Toronto in the six. I'm going Drake, baby. <laughs> uh, Indiana. Hello, Hoosiers. It's been a minute. Kent State. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't think Indiana's a four seed. I don't either. But, man, they beat Purdue. Twice. I'm uh, taking IU. They, I they have beat to. Purdue twice. 
I like uh I really like Trace from Center Grove. He's a, a dog. I didn't know Trace was from Center Grove. Yeah. I never knew that. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of Indiana heads in this tournament, man. It's trying to show you that Indiana has a thing for basketball. This is the basketball state. This is the Hoosier state. And uh you're gonna see a lot of the Indiana players out this tournament that's gonna dominate. So me and Kobe have decided because we're both from Indiana. So man, I can't wait to see these guys. But <laughs> Kent State. I like Kent State. I like them a lot. They're, they had an amazing, I mean, amazing uh, tournament game. They're quick. They're fast. Um, they're 28-6. and six. Indiana hasn't done good against good guard play. And Kent State has great guard play. Um, but I don't like Kent State's conference. The MAC is not good in basketball whatsoever. And they haven't had any competition. I mean... Bowling Green was their best game of recent, and they're eleven and twenty. So uh, I want to go Kent State so bad because I love their guard play and how efficient they are. But Indiana, I gotta go with you. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, this one's hard because this is Iowa State, and then both Mississippi State and Pitt play tonight. I don't think Iowa State will win, but now I have to decide. Will it be Mississippi State or Pitt? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. That's so difficult, man. I like Pitt. I was thinking Mississippi State. I like if Pitt. If you take Pitt, I'll take Mississippi State. I like Pitt. All right. Yeah. You heard honestly, it here. CJ likes Pitt. <laughs> I like Pitt. And honestly, like what Kobe said, Iowa State is very inconsistent. And I feel like if it wasn't off the name, they might not have been looking at the tournament. But that's just my personal opinion. That's crazy that they have a – I don't understand how they did it. Like they have a worse record than both of these teams, and they're in the first four. Yeah, that's like – what? That doesn't even make sense to me. But that's beyond the point. <laughs> I'm going to go Pitt to beat Iowa State. So we're going to put Pitt right there in Greensburg. I'm not going to entertain this one either. I'm going to take Xavier right now against, I believe that's Kennesaw State. Uh, I, I honestly – now – Sometimes when you have a job like I do, and like a lot goes on, and I and I'm just very focused, and I'm trying to like look at all these teams, I have not heard of this school all year long in Kennesaw State, so te- I really cannot take them. I don't think. There's a lot of people walking through us, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like that's all staring. Can, that's like, why watching they keep looking at us, sh- watching us do our show. Uh, yeah, like Kobe was saying, I mean Kennesaw State. If I mispronounced that, I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, no disrespect. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, <laughs> the Owls' last play in the tournament was 1982. Uh, I don't think that 1982, I wasn't even thought of. I don't think that my mom was thought of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are a mid-major team, and they compete in the ASUN conference. I don't even think you guys know what that is because, honestly, I don't even know who's in that conference. Um they play Liberty and only won by one point. They play Queens, only won by one point. They haven't what? dominated anybody. Queens? Yes, Queens, my point. That's crazy. So uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going Xavier. I'm not even going to entertain this. I put too much effort in it. Hey, shout anyway. out. You made it to the you made it to the dance. That's what, that's what you made this is all dance. about, man. That's you made it to the about. dance. I don't even know where you guys are located. Oh, you guys in Georgia. Okay. Texas A&M, Penn State. Shout out Brendan. He did a family uh, March Madness tournament, and he said Penn State was his choice to win it all. Hmm. That's not a bad take. No, I'm just playing. That's that a terrible a, take. I don't understand where he got that from. No, that's a terrible. That's what ha- happens when you watch the Big Ten <laughs> tournament one time. <laughs> I don't think he's ever watched college basketball. Yeah. Um, I, Texas A&M just because of uh, Johnny Football. <laughs> that's cute. That's <laughs> no. cute. No, no, no. I, uh, I, I like A&M. I've always been a fan of A&M. For some, I think it's mainly because of him, but uh, just off name value, I'll, I'll do Texas A&M. Okay. And I like the idea of them taking on my next pick. Okay, okay, I like that. Um, I'm sorry, Kobe, to ruin your dreams, but Texas A&M is going home. Penn State is hot. Man, they're hot. Um, they have that might be my downfall. Great right defense right now. Uh, they played against Purdue, who you think is going to go so far, but that's beyond the point. Uh, I didn't say they that. Play, they play against Indiana, beat them, dominate Indiana, actually. I like... I like Penn State. They're they're hot at the right time, and uh, man, I, I'm going Penn State. Shout out Saquon. Hope you've seen that. 
Uh, we got Texas, uh, Longhorn. Either you're a Longhorn or you're a Longhorn down. Sorry if I just offended someone. Because they probably, they hate that. Uh, Colgate. Man, what what is this? John Cena, brush your mouth like Colgate? Yeah, sounds like <laughs> some toothpaste to me. <laughs> no, yeah. that's disrespectful because they yeah. are a good team. But they're not better than Texas. They Texas, I think, has finally found what has worked. Because, mm-hmm. like, all of, like, the last couple of years, they've just been, like, so close. And then they've just been getting worse. But finally, they got the championship of their sectional. Shout out to them. Because they've gone through a lot of adversity in, like, losing their head coach who just signed with Ole Miss. Yeah. Man. I'm Te- going Texas. Yeah. I'm going to go with Kobe as well. Colgate. I love toothbrush, but this is wrong. What? Tournament. <laughs> I love loved, toothpaste, but this is the wrong love, tournament. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you love toothbrush. <laughs> I'm not even English. Oh man, but, CJ, uh, I love toothbrush. 2023, <laughs> write that on his jersey. Yeah, you know, just put down a tattoo or something. I might have to tattoo. You might get up. a sponsorship from Colgate. Now. Hey, I like that. And, and hey, I Colgate. Have- hey, I'm listening. <laughs> if y'all listen, I'm listening. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go Texas as well. Uh, I like the, I like the Big Twelve. Um, they played some pretty good guys. They're a pretty good team themselves. They went through some adversity, so I mean, I think they're gonna win this round. But you will see next. I'm not gonna spoil it. I think if you were to put, I just like I want to think about. Let's look at these sixteen teams. Northern Kentucky. If you were to play Northern Kentucky against ISU, I would take ISU. If you were to put them against Howard, I'm taking. ISU. Yes. Either one of SEMA or T A M U C C. I'm taking ISU. Texas Southern might be a tough one, but FDU, I would take ISU over them. Like, we, ISU can why, we should we should take Texas Southern too. They're 14 and 20. They play nobody. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are thinking, we talking about? I was thinking of A and M because we just talked about them. What are we talking about? Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a yeah, minute. Te- no. Texas Southern out of there too. Nah, give me that. I want ISU in the te- tournament next year. I know it's gonna happen. Yep. Um, last here, Robbie. Region. We need you. Yeah. Last region before we get on everything. I don't know if we're gonna make it to football. We're gonna have to though. Uh, to promise, I can't lie to my fans. <laughs> I love it. Kansas and Howard Jayhawks. They're looking to repeat. I don't know if they will, but they'll repeat first round at least. <laughs> yeah, Howard. Love the history of Howard. Do you know? But uh, what do you Kansas. know about them? Huh? What do you know about them? Well, Howard. Yeah. Just <laughs> great HBCU. Probably one of the top HBCUs of the country. Uh, they have pretty good. They have a really good two guard actually. Mm. They don't have a good point guard or a center, but their two guard is really good. And uh, yeah, Howard, I'm sorry for this, but <laughs> <laughs> this was another hard one for me. Kansas, because yeah. I like Illinois, and Arkansas is good. Illinois, they were like a top four seed, I believe, it just a few years ago with AO. Over. They were. Yep. Illinois, mm, but they Arkansas. Also lost a lot. That's a good matchup right there. That's so. An eight nine seed if I've ever seen one in my life. I'm gonna take Illinois. Just to sh- uh, just shout out to my boy Braden. He was on one. He was on one of these episodes before. So shout out to him. I'll take uh, that. I'll take that. I'm gonna go. Huh, I'm gonna go Arkansas. Uh, like I said before, SEC love their tournaments. Arkansas was pretty good. Have a great culture. Uh, Illinois is just too up and down. Lost to Northwestern this year. Um, lost to Indiana. No, they just didn't do good in the tournament as well. Uh, I'm not liking Illinois. They almost lost to Michigan. Uh, yeah, Illinois. Yeah, I'm I get going you. Arkansas. Now this is the tough one because I'm looking at this. I've already taken every 12 over five seed. Now I just sound dumb, but I don't think I can trust St. Mary's. Of all the five seeds, St. Mary's? No. <laughs> VCU, I'm more r- you remember familiar VCU with You had a really good tournament run one of these years. I remember. Years. I, I, I'm more familiar with them. And I'm looking at them right now. The Rams, I mean, he, they're, they've been coached now the third NCAA tournament appearance in five years. So they know what they're doing right. Uh... I don't know. The man. five and twelve. Their defense is also so good. I'm taking VCU for the, for the L's, for the loves, for the lols. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go VCU as well. I, I haven't. No five seed advancing in my bracket. Yeah, no five seed no. is advancing. 
Uh, St. Mary's Sorry, just haven't been there for real. I mean, St. Mary's, they're good. They're 26 and 7, of course. I mean, you have to be good to be in this tournament. But VCU has the experience three out of five years. They actually had a really good run two years ago that made them all the way to the Sweet 16. Uh, same head coach as well. Same home coach. The Daner, same players as well. A lot of those guys didn't declare. So I think they're hungry. And I think this year they're going to be really good. So they already was really good. So I'm going to go VCU. Respect, respect. Here's our boy, UConn. I don't know if Shabazz Napier's on this team at all. Sadly, he's not. <laughs> uh, that's just that's that's the uh, that's the name of the day, Shabazz Napier. Uh, go watch some highlights of Shabazz Napier, and you go see homework. why we love him. Yeah. Oh man, he had a crisp steal and then like a finger roll layup on a fast break. That's that. all in my head. Um, I'm gonna show him some love. <laughs> I'm going UConn. Show him some love is crazy. No, but UConn has actually turned things around recently because they were like very bottom of their conference like last year or two years ago. Mm-hmm. They are completely turn things around all of a sudden so shout out them the men's team getting respect the women's team's always good yeah women's team they were on that crazy 100 game win streak or something they're just wow. always dominant i mean women's basketball in uconn is probably like so celebrated which as it should, it should be. be yeah, yeah. as it should be and I think that the world should start looking at UConn basketball women's and to try to duplicate that because it's so beautiful to watch those young ladies just go out there and attack every night and be dominant. But South Carolina now is the new UConn. South Carolina. It really is. And I like LSU as well. Shout out Ange- Angela Reese, I think her name is. Yeah, Angel. she's, a, she's Angel insane. Reese. She's insane. She has everything. And Iowa with Clark. She's amazing too. Especially her rapid skills. But we're not talking about that, Kobe. Wait, <laughs> come on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Shout out to the women. Shout out to women, man. They need Women's more National love. Day was a few days ago. Shout out to them. We always got to show you guys love for the culture. But uh, I love my woman. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm sorry, Shabazz. I loved the hot takes you made today about you, but your team just not you no more. Oh, they, they, you're taking they don't Iona? Have you. you know I am. I- Iona is playing amazing basketball right now. They literally... Just came off of beating Maris twenty one by twenty one points, twelve points, twenty points, two points, nineteen points, and thirty three points. They're hot as anybody coming into this tournament, and uh, they have a guy number five, amazing. Someone's got to tell me because Arizona State and Nevada are playing in a uh, at first four game, and mm-hmm. they're taking on TCU, the winner of it. Like, I personally, man, that's tough. Yeah. That is tough. I'm going to take the safe pick. I'm taking TCU. I like it. I like TCU. I, I could see Nevada, though. Or I could see Arizona Honestly, State. Honestly, I was just about to say that. Arizona State, I'm not going to take man. the safe pick because this is what March Madness is about. This is what March Madness is about. I'm going to go Arizona State over Nevada. And the first four, then after that, they're going to have a little momentum. And they're going to beat TCU. TCU hasn't played in over really? a week. They haven't played in over a week. And uh, Arizona State is kind of hot. They're not crazy hot, but they're kind of hot coming in. Mm. They have a great center. And uh, they're long. I wouldn't want to play them. So I'm going go to go Arizona State. Nope. I would not want to. That's for sure. Gonzaga, Grand Canyon. Is, do we got to really talk about yeah, this? Yeah, next. Like, Gonzaga. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Gonzaga has been going under the radar so bad this year because they don't have the big names. I mean, Drew Timmy is still there. Let's not forget, he's still there. That's and, insane that he's still. And he's still and dominant. on the Wizards. <laughs> and he's still dominant in college basketball. So, er, Gonzaga is going to move by. But is this has to be his last year, right? I hope so. <laughs> it might not be, though. He's not I, going to the league. He might go to the league as, like, a G League guy. He won't get drafted. I don't think he gets drafted. He's like the Stenson Bennett. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if Stenson's going to get drafted. If Gonzaga wins. He's he, getting drafted. You think Drew, Drew Timmy will? Yeah. I think it's a little different than football. No, Drew Timmy will if they win something. But if not, no. And really? Stenson His is record drafted. doesn't show for himself already? I mean, his record, he had a lot of good guys with him, though. Them Gonzaga teams, I mean, Chet. Uh, Jalen sucks. I get you. I mean, they've then had some dogs on that team. So, I don't think that they think that he's, like, 
dominant by himself. So he has to show that yeah. he's dominant by himself first. Okay. Northwestern Boise State. This is another interesting one for me because I like I've seen Northwestern play before, but Boise State. I don't even think Boise State has ever really came to my head in basketball. I know football. They have a beautiful turf. No, oh, I do. It's blue. Please look that up. Shout Jewish. out. Jewish. Uh, wow. Shout out Edgewood High School, by the way, here in Indiana. They have red turf. Yeah. Me and Kobe might have to take a drive down there because hey. I've never seen it before. And Side I story. Love to see it. When I called a game there for Northview High School uh, for football season, I left the banner, so I had to go back to the next day and grab the banner <laughs> for our WMB. But anyway, that's besides the point. Northwestern. Boise State, just give me Northwestern. I'm going to take Northwestern. I know I probably should take the 10, but I, I think I'm going to take Northwestern here. I don't think they're going to go – they're definitely not going to go far, though. <laughs> no. But uh, I'm going Northwestern as well because Northwestern had plays in a way better conference than Boise State. Boise State is not hot at the moment. They are coming off of a two-game losing streak. Um, They lost to Utah State by 10. They lost to Utah State again by 13. Lost to St. Jose State, who's not even in the tournament, by six. And they just haven't dominated anybody. I just think that they play in a good conference. Not a good conference. I believe that Mountain West Conference is a good conference to go to the tournament in because nobody's in that conference. But Northwestern has played a lot of good guys that's going to go far in this tournament. So, uh, yeah, Northwestern for sure. We've been on the air for an hour, and I cannot say this enough. I've actually had fun. It's gone by like a breeze yeah. talking about this stuff. Um, I think it's best that we just go through and sk- not obviously just blah, 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 but let's just do it real quick, and then we can talk about some football real quick because I know you're a busy man and everything. I am too. Uh, yeah, and Kobe's a busy man, so we got to shout out. CJ's a D1 athlete. <laughs> yeah. so. We got to shout out Kobe, man. Uh, Stop. So appreciative. I'm Kobe. not that busy, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> UCLA, what do you think about Amari Bailey? I thought that he was going to be so much more dominant in college. Say what who? Amari Bailey, uh, same teammate as uh, Bronny Jr. last year. Oh, yeah. He's on uh, UCLA this year. Are you uh, Yeah, you didn't even know that, UCLA is a weird team. Like, they are not, like they had a weird get them. run. I don't get them. A few years ago, and now here they are they're, at two. I don't like them. I don't think they're going to – they're not going to last past Sweet 16. They're like – I don't get what they do, bro. Like, they have Tyga. He's a great guard. I mean, Amari sometimes-ish. But they should be so much more better. They need a new culture. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we finally dealt yeah. with the first Let, round. Let's just go through this because I need. we don't have the same first round, but I just need to fill out our bracket and let uh, you, the viewers, know who we got coming away with our 2023 Men's Basketball Championship. I love it. It's actually in Houston. I love the theme that they got going on. I don't know if you guys have seen the brackets or not. I'm not going to get up because I know I trip or fall or something. <laughs> but they, it's like a huge. It's in Houston. It's like a space theme, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I think Houston. I like it. I like Houston vibe. It's amazing. Your first round matchup. Uh, which which way are we going? We're Alabama. Gonna, we're going to go back to the normal way we came. Got you. Okay, so I got West Alabama, West Virginia, San Diego State, Virginia, North Carolina State, Brailler. Uh, Missouri, Arizona, Purdue, Memphis, Duke, Tennessee, Kentucky, Montana State, Wichita, Michigan State, I'm sorry, and Marquette. So for the second round, I'm going to go Alabama. Uh, I think West Virginia, they had a great run, but it stops against that boy, who I think should be the number three pick from Alabama. Okay. Yeah, he's nice. Good, good. You can finish. No, just oh, keep okay. Going. Keep going and through then, that uh, and I'll give him mine. I'm going to go – Mm, I'm going to go Virginia versus San Diego State. I think Virginia's been there before. San Diego State hasn't. Uh, San Diego State, uh, even though they played pretty good in the tournament uh, for their conference, I just believe that they're not as talented as Virginia, and Virginia has very good guard play. Uh, Next, I'm going to go Baylor. Baylor's defense is something that you can't teach. That's textbook uh, all coaches out there, youth coaches, should go watch Baylor and how they run the two-three Facts. zone, and how Please. they should run, <laughs> and how they should run the two-two-one zone. Because man, it's beautiful basketball. It's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go uh, in a hot take. Not really Missouri. I like Missouri. What? I don't even have that first round. You got them going this far. I like Mizzou. I think Dre Golson, shout out two one nine, is gonna have a great game. Are right, we get and, it? Your friends <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, 
I think that Missouri, they're, they're really good. I mean, they lost Alabama, but they've been playing hot. And I think Arizona is overrated. That's beyond the point. Okay, you're going to hate this because we're Indiana. You're take per, you're take But I'm taking Penny Hardaway and the Memphis <laughs> team. You don't, you, don't the, you don't even know the name, Tigers. And the Tigers. <laughs> I was going to say Tigers, but I feel like it was going to cut me off. So I'm going to go with the Tigers. Uh, the Boilermakers, I'm sorry, go back in the lab. Uh, their guard play is terrible. They can't get pressed. And Penny Hardaway grew up on the press. So he's going to press the heck out of them. And, uh, yeah. All right. I, I understand where you're going with. Uh, you, you feel me? Uh, I'm going to go Duke. I'm going to go Duke against Tennessee. I like Tennessee a lot. But, you know, Coach K, uh, this is first year being retired. And I think that he's going to, you know, call to his coach and tell him what to do. <laughs> no way. I like do it. That. I like it. And <laughs> I think that Duke. No Even way. though Kobe said that they're not as good this year, they've been going under the radar. They doesn't have they don't have the star players like they used to. But Jeremy Roach is still there, and he's a great guard. Um, I'm gonna go Kentucky over Montana State, obviously. Uh, and I'm gonna go Michigan State over Marquette. I think. Marquette is a great team, don't get me wrong. But Michigan State, the experience of being there and just the tournament, it don't matter what happened in the regular season. It's about now. And I love Michigan State now. <laughs> All righty. All right, calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. All you right. Know, you know how I get. My first round on the left side for the south and the east region, I got Alabama, Maryland, yep. Charleston versus Furman, Creighton taking on Baylor, Utah State with Arizona. And then going for the east, we have Purdue taking on FAU, Oral Roberts with Tennessee, Kentucky battling it out with Kansas State, and USC taking on Marquette. First off, Alabama-Maryland. Love Maryland. I know what they can do, but I like Alabama just a little bit more. So I'm going to be smart and strategic here. They're the number one seed for a region. They were number one, uh, not for a region, but number one seed for a reason. And they were number one here. I mean, it's just kind of hard to not. I like Brandon Miller a lot. I hope everything that goes with all the news that has been broken about him and going on with that campus, I hope that they can figure that out. And he yes, not please, because he's a great talent. Uh, Charleston and Furman, it's kind of come down to who do you think has a better name, and I like Furman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I like uh, that. Creighton and Baylor, no way am I taking Creighton's offense. Uh, Baylor's defense, defense wins championships. You mentioned it, how Baylor has its stellar defense. You should, because I, I have my minor here is coaching at Indiana State, and I watch Baylor highlights. I'm just a prowess of defense i love defense so much uh, it's underrated i feel like some people they Very like underrated. all the glitz and the glamour oh the three-point shot no defense defense give me the physicality utah state and arizona sorry utah state i really mm, no 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 now, now i'm thinking i'm second guessing myself because in my other bracket i took utah state but arizona ah, i'm taking zona i gotta take zona i can't be dumb nah shout out shout out utah state though they're giving me some vibes that i want to go with but i'm gonna take arizona uh, CJ's stupid. I'm taking Purdue. <laughs> There's no way. I don't see Purdue at least making it to the Sweet 16. Maybe the even the Final Four. Whoa. Uh, Oral Roberts, Tennessee. Shout out Oral Roberts. Love what you guys did last year to this year. I'm going to go with Tennessee. Uh, I just don't know. CJ, did you know that you're the only 10 that I see? <laughs> Shout out. Kentucky, Kansas State. Love this matchup. It's probably going to be like probably – the best game that I've seen so far in the second round of my Sweet 16. Ooh, or my second round, excuse me. But I'm going to go Kansas State. I like okay. Johnson a lot. Here we go being a documentary, baby. Hey, man. <laughs> I like what he's rocking with. USC Marquette. Uh, man. This one's tough. Because you could go Marquette. That's the basic option. But USC's there. I like the opportunity, USC. They always have just good big men. Mm -hmm. Always. It's like a factory. USC. Okay. I'll go USC. Second round. Hit me with it. Okay. So, on my right side of the bracket, we have Houston versus – no, I'm sorry. We have Houston versus Auburn. Drake versus Indiana. Pitt versus Xavier. Penn State versus Texas. Uh, Kansas versus Arkansas. VCU versus Ina. Oh. Arizona – State versus Gonzaga, Northwestern versus UCLA. And uh, <clears throat> what you rock it with? You know it. I'm going to go Houston. Okay, okay. I like Houston for the Sweet 16. Um, 
Auburn, great coaching staff, great guard play, but I think that goes to Sweet 16s in the larger part of the tournament, you need a bench. Auburn doesn't have a bench, and Houston does. Houston has a culture. Houston plays hard together, and I'm, I like Houston a lot. Okay, this game, Drake versus Indiana. Should have been Indiana State, but. Here we go. Drake versus Indiana. I think this is going to be a show out game for Roman Penn. And let me explain why. Indiana. <laughs> let me explain why. I love the re- I, <laughs> what you're saying is what I was going to say. So, Look, Drake was Roman's only offer out of his prep school he went to. Indiana was playing in Roman's face because Roman is in their backyard, literally. And you don't give him the opportunity. I think that he's going to be hungry. I think he's going to be determined. And I got Drake and that great team that's been together for about five years now versus Indiana. Bye-bye, Trace. Bye-bye, Trace. Anyway, that was a little personal one for me, about viewers. Time. He's been there forever. Yeah. That's a little personal one for me, viewers. So I'll take a little longer on that one. But uh, I'm going to go Pitt. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I like Pitt. I like their role players. I, I like, like their it. bench. I like that. I like their team. I like their culture. Xavier, they've been there before, but I don't think they have anybody that can take over a game. Uh, Penn State versus Texas. I'm going Penn State, man. They're hot. They're hot. And uh, Texas is not really hot at the moment. I respect they've it. been in and out of games. You don't they don't have so? a closer. Oh, I don't know. And I don't know, man. I'm going to go Penn State They've because... They've injuries riddle them a little. Yeah, so. that is Will. And Texas don't really have a culture, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Um, Kansas, we're going to beat Arkansas. Kansas going to the Sweet 16 because I know they love it. Um, hmm. BCU versus Ina. I'm going to go Ina because, uh, <laughs> <Okay>. man, <laughs> they're great. They're hot. They're fast. They're explosive. And uh, they're hungry. Sweet 16 them, baby. Uh, we're going to go Arizona State versus Gonzaga. Gonzaga drew Timmy. He's going for that national championship, man. He, he's he been there seven years. I hope he finally gets it. Uh, it's just like you playing a game on they 2K. They won a few years ago. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they won a few years ago, but he wants a two-piece on his own. He feel like he wasn't that guy then. Uh, it's like playing on 2K, you know. He's trying to get that third year to get more VC. That's beyond the point. And then we got Northwestern versus UCLA. I love Northwestern. I love them being a Big Ten school. I love everything about them, but uh, they don't have the talent to compete with UCLA. So I'm going to go UCLA. Respect. Respectful. So in my second round, on the Midwest and West side, we got Houston battling it out with Auburn. Drake taking on Indiana. Mississippi State versus Xavier. Texas A&M versus Texas. Kansas. Illinois. VCU versus UConn, TCU taking on Gonzaga, and Northwestern rounding it out with UCLA. Hmm. Same exact thing what you said. Houston, I'm always, I don't know, I just really like Houston. I've always liked what they had. Auburn, I'm a big fan of them as well. But with Houston, there's just something more there that I feel like they're just, they're, they're prime for this moment. They realistically are probably the better team in the country. Mm-hmm. They're probably the best team in the country is what I mean, but we can only have to wait and tell. Drake in Indiana. Shout out because I like Trace a lot. I really like what IU brings. Um, they're just a good – I mean, I pay attention a lot to what IU throws around. Um, it's it's just really refreshing to see them back here Yeah, because they, sh- they should be here every year. Um, Purdue's the one that's really been showing up more, but it's nice to know the Hoosiers, as we all are Hoosiers, even though if you're not an Indiana fan, you're a Hoosier, whether you like to hear it or not. You're not a boiler. Get out of here. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I'm a sycamore, but that's just because I go here. So Indiana and Drake, I like Indiana being back here, but it's not going to last long. I got Drake, man. I love it. I love what Drake brings. There's just something more that I've been paying attention to as well. I mean, it happens when you focus more on an MVC school when your con- conference is in the MVC. Your whole focus is on that. So I like what Drake can bring. Now, I'm not going to – Drake won't go long. <laughs> but I like what they can do against Indiana. I don't think – I like what Trace can do with 
when he's battled against some of the bigger teams in the Big Ten. But, like, sometimes he's been struggling, like, against Maryland. But he can, like, beat Purdue. They're just so fluctuating up and down. It's weird. Mississippi State, Xavier. Ooh. We'll take Xavier. Okay. I just like Xavier a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know much about Mississippi State, so I'll take that. Texas A&M, Texas. Battle right here. Uh, now, you said Texas won't advance. Is that right? You had uh, A&M Penn or Penn State passing, which is insane. I'll have them beating Texas A&M. I'm going to take Texas. Texas is definitely a team that's ready for the moment. And I can see it all culminating with a uh, championship. Kansas, Illinois. It was fun while I was Illinois, but I'm going Kansas. Yep. VCU, UConn. Man. Shabazz, he's just on my mind. <laughs> I'll go UConn. Stop it, Shabazz is not on the team. TCU, Gonzaga, give me Gonzaga. Talk to me. I don't have too much because there's not a whole lot to be said. Texas Christian, I mean, shout out. Football was pretty cool for you, but you're not making a run like that in the year. Not March. <laughs> um, and Northwestern UCLA, like you said, Northwestern is just too small of a school to battle it out with UCLA, which is kind of funny to say because Northwestern's a Big Ten school and UCLA is going to be joining the Big Ten. Yeah. UCLA though, they got the history. They got the. They just they're more ready for this. Yeah. Third round, man. Third round, Elite Eight, baby. Man, we're definitely not getting to football at I, all. I I'm sorry, fans. All of you. I lied to all of you. But no. look. March Madness has its own show, and that's okay because it's March, I mean, and we, we love it. The first couple of signings that come to my head, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, shout out him. He's going to go play for the Raiders. Don't like that move at all. I think no. they should have got A-Rod, but that's a different story. A-Rod is about to go to the Jets, which I think is insane because he's going to walk on that. As soon as it's announced, he's easily the best quarterback ever for the Jets. And which I is said amazing. That. And now shout out to um uh what I can't remember his name but he was like number two, uh, Super Bowl school. winner Super yeah Bowl. Cool Joe, Joe. Cool, cool Joe, Joe yeah. yeah shout out him but Aaron Rodgers is just different two times better than you with oh. all due respect the, I saw the Falcons got a lot of guys the Saints lot a lot lost a lot I mean I hate the, the Falcons so hey the Bears looking good man I Ryan Poe's the, GM of the year that's that's very true Panthers are stupid for trading that man so. you see how many picks that's amazing. That's uh, amazing that we fleece them like that. DJ Moore finally a number one receiver. Feel bad. <laughs> feel bad for him. <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, but hey, he's with Justin Fields. Shout out Justin Fields MVP season. Bring it in. I love it. I love it, Kobe. Okay, we will get back to March Madness, yeah, and we'll talk that's next all. week. <laughs> yeah, we we'll take text next week more about NFL. We free definitely will. Sorry about free that, agency, but we love you guys still. Don't worry. That's all love. Okay, so in our my Elite Eight. I'm going to go Alabama this over Virginia. Sweet, this is a sweet 16. Sweet 16 to my Elite Eight. I'm sorry. Sweet 16 to my Elite, elite Eight. I'm going to go Alabama over Virginia. Uh, Miller, I love that kid. And uh, he's just smooth. He's efficient. And uh, Alabama, they're not a basketball school, but they're going to show a lot oh, of they people. they are now. They are now. They're going to yeah, show a lot are. of people that they are now. And, uh, yeah, Virginia, you had a great run, but uh, you're done. Uh, this is going to hurt me to say, uh, but Missouri, Mizzou, Dre, you a dog. Uh, Mizzou, you guys been playing great, but uh, Baylor's 2-2-1 two, two, press. Baylor's 2-3 zone. Baylor's defense, I got to give it to Baylor. Uh, Memphis Duke. Bring Don't on, do it. Bring on them Tigers, baby. You're crazy. Bring on them Tigers, baby. I love what I've seen versus them against Houston. They were amazing. They were quick. They were efficient. Uh, Penny Hardaway got them boys playing like they at the wreck, and I love it. And uh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. If you have get, you seen the people at the wreck here, they are. It depends. Awful. It depends. If you go at the right time, seven to nine, them boys be <laughs> hooping like it's the NBA finals. I think I'd have gave them a contract, but that's just me. But look, Duke, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have enough star power to literally take over a game. Jeremy Roach is gonna get. Guarded great by Memphis guards. And, uh, yeah, it's over with. I like Kentucky because the center, uh, he came back for another year. I think that he should have went to the league, but that's just my opinion from last year. Uh, Michigan State had a great year, but they don't have the dogs like they used to previously. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go Kentucky over Michigan State. Respectful. Respectful. No. I got Alabama taking on Furman, Baylor <laughs> oh taking goodness. on Arizona. I <laughs> know Purdue taking on Tennessee, Kansas State versus USC. Those are some great matchups. 
Bama is easily <laughs> advancing. Oh Bama's God. like, who is this? Who is I'm Furman. Why am I here? Where are we? This is not like preseason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baylor and Arizona. I love Baylor. I was such a root. I love Davion Mitchell, by the way. Shout out him. him. Uh, have you seen his YouTube uh, documentary? I have. Amazing. I'm a documentary guy. I'm, I'm a sappy guy. <laughs> no, but I really like Baylor. They, they've brought what they brought with the 2021 NCAA championship uh, team, and they've still kept that same culture and focus. So it, it should work out with them. Ah, Arizona's always just been a weird team as well. They've always been like up and down. Like they are always talked about, and they always have good, decent players. But they know they're not my bracket players. Purdue and Tennessee. That's tough. That's tough, man. I want to take Purdue so bad. I don't know if I can. Don't be an Indiana now. I'm gonna take Purdue. Okay, you are an Indiana animal. Listen, listen, listen. Let me hear me out. Hear me. Let me cook. Tennessee. Like I said before, they've had a tough year. They've showed out more. Purdue, they really have fallen. But I think they're going to wake up. I think they're going to find the right time. They're going to rally around Zach Eady. Who's really – who in the country can guard Zach Eady on a consistent basis for 40 for, – for a whole – just whole game, 40 minutes? That guy from Kentucky. But he Dang, won't see – he oh, won't see him from yeah, Kentucky because Purdue will be gone. I think, no, I don't – Kentucky's gone too. So <laughs> Kansas State, USC. I like Kansas State a lot, man. Keontae. But I don't think they're going to make it long. Next round. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just on the other side. Go for it. Okay. Oh, uh, it's lead eight time almost. Ooh. Almost. Okay, we got Houston, Drake, Pitt, Penn State. Oh, I'm sorry. We got Houston, Drake, Pitt, Penn State, Kansas, Ina, and Gonzaga, UCLA. My bias, you got to come to the end. Even though Drake can compete with Houston, let me hear me out. No, I don't uh, think they can. Not hear me out. Far, hear me out. Far. I don't think that Houston's going to win this game. Put Houston in. But Drake doesn't have the bench to play with Houston, but Houston doesn't have any stars. They have a whole bunch of role players. And Whoa, because, yes, I, yes. You can't just yes, say that. Yes. A 31 and 3 team. They, have, they play really good. They have a cohesive unit, but that doesn't mean that they don't they have a star they don't know who's going to take the last shot every game and you could tell by their close games it's always a different player drawn up for the play because they don't have a technical star drake has a star tucker but drake is not going to go this far because i'm not going to be biased here but if they do go this far don't tell me that i wasn't surprised so we're going to go houston oh, i agree <laughs> We're going to go Houston. I'm I sorry. I think if Drake and Indiana do play, that's probably like an exciting game. That's going to be an amazing game. I, I can't I wait. I want to see it. I hope. Uh, Pitt versus Penn State. Bring on them Nettie Lions. What is wrong with them? <laughs> Penn State. You we're, and Brendan are weird. <laughs> we're going Penn State. They didn't make it out of the first round. Eight. Because, man, I love what I've seen from them. Even though they lost the championship, the Big Ten championship, I love what I've seen from them. I'm going to go with them for the lead eight. Kansas, Ina. Ina had a great season. Great dogs. Played amazing. Great culture. But bring on them Jayhawks, baby. Yeah. The, it's, Cinderella time's over. And uh, Gonzaga, UCLA. This is tough. Be smart. This is very tough. You know who you want to take. Isn't this a rematch? It is. Yeah, it is. And hmm, UCLA has more talent basketball-wise. But as a team, I'm going to go Gonzaga. Absolutely. Houston and Drake, he mentioned it. I like Houston a lot. I don't think Drake can compete against this team. I think they're too small. Houston is just too dominant for them. Xavier in Texas, I'm really liking this Texas squad. There's just something about them that I'm really riding. Uh, Kansas, UConn, eh. Shabazz Napier, the memories are fun, but you won't be there to support them against this <laughs> butt Sadly. beating. They're going to get against the Kansas Jayhawks because they're on a mission. And Gonzaga, UCLA, I respect it. I like Gonzaga a lot. I just, if UCLA didn't have, if they had harder competition, like realistically, if they were to take on like an Arkansas or an Illinois in their side of the bracket in the first two rounds, I don't think they'd get past the Sweet 16. Yeah, I don't either. But they have a really or, good excuse road. Excuse me, uh, the second round. Yeah, but they have a really good road. Like, 
if you look at UCLA's road, they don't really have no big builder blocks until the Sweet 16. Mm-hmm. Breaking news, uh, Darren Waller just got traded to the Giants. Did he really? He literally just got traded to the Giants. So uh, Darren Waller did? For what? What was the compensation? I didn't see that. Uh, look at you. Well, like, we're, we're trying to give you guys live stats. I bet this is the first time you guys heard about it, too. They haven't made what the trade is, but uh, Tom Pacello said breaking Giants Pelicero. trade. For, I'm sorry, play, play for uh, Darren Waller, and uh, we're going to see how the Giants yep. do. Oh, wow. I just feel like Josh McDaniels is trying to ruin the Raiders at this point. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Free Devontae, man. But that's beyond the point. Man, uh, he just got married yeah. to um the, that one, one of the greatest WNBA players yes. of like all it, time. I can't pronounce her name for the life. Insaku in Ina Inasaku. I don't know. Bro, I'm don't, so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh they had some great pictures too. CJ, you have to look that up because I don't remember. I oh my gosh. Did she where did she go to college now? Why can't I remember that? Shout out to him though. Kelsey Plum. Oh, who, she, who was I thinking of? Kelsey Plum is uh you was thinking about Naomi Osaka? Probably. Yeah, she's a tennis why. player, Kobe. Lock in. I don't know <laughs> where I got that from. Lock in, but no, yeah. No, I don't know where I I Kelsey Wait, what's that girl's name Kelsey from? Kelsey has some great pictures. Who's the girl that went to he, she plays for the Liberty? Okay. Do you know who I'm talking about? No, no. She was like one of the first very few picks she played, I think at UConn. Are you talking about no, she's still in college. Never she kind of had, uh, dude. I'm about to do it now. I have to. Okay, so you, do you want you, me to go to my elite eight? Yes, bracket? you go to the elite eight while I'm doing this because this is important to me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we got Alabama, Baylor, Memphis, Kentucky. Baylor, I love defense. I love defense. You had a great run. Uh, you're explosive. Great team, but uh. Roll Crimson Tide, baby. Alabama Sabrina. is going to the final four. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, yeah, you her name was Sabrina Inoscu. I just got who? Let me see. I don't know why. I just got the oh, wrong yeah, women's yeah, basketball player. That's the wrong girl. I don't. Up. That's my apologies. Her. I apologize for that. Lock in, Kobe. We're sorry. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Alabama over Baylor. Good, good. And for my Elite Eight pick, Pity! Bring on them boys to the final four, baby. You're insane. <laughs> Memphis to they, the final they, they did not four. make it out of my first round, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky, you just can't compete. Calipari, just can't compete. Elite eight time. Bama, Baylor. I couldn't think of a better game. That's insane. That's an amazing game. Give me Bama. Okay. I'm going to take Bama. I think they're just doing a little too much. I don't think Baylor can really hold on to them. Uh, their defense can only do so much. The offense has to really pick up, and I don't think it will. Purdue, Kansas State. I'm taking Purdue in the Final Four. Oh, he's such an indie animal. Nah, no, no, no. I'm really not. I'm really <laughs> not. I just really like to see what Purdue can do. Get it? <laughs> Who you, who's on the other side? Oh, okay, Houston and Penn State. Houston, you had a great year. Penn State, you had an amazing year. Penn State, you're hot at the moment. But I'm going Houston, man. I can't, I can't uh, let Penn State give me that bias. I mean, Penn State has played amazing, great team, but yeah, Houston, we have a problem, and you're coming back home. <laughs> um, okay, we got Kansas. That's your curfew. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kansas versus Gonzaga. Gonzaga, Drew Timmy. You're this like your fifth year. I love it. I love you showing post players how to play the game. Six nine, lefty, smooth, efficient. But yeah, your college career is over. We're going to Kansas, baby. Wow, Jayhawks. Oh, no, no, no. What you just did is the opposite of me. I'm taking Texas over Houston. Okay. And then I'm going to move Gonzaga past Kansas. Okay. I oh, That's so – I don't know if I can, though. No, no, no. I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking Kansas. I'm taking Kansas. I'm taking Kansas. I have to do the right thing. Final four, CJ. Who's in your final four? Uh <laughs> You know who I want to go to, but I just think it's not appropriate. Who? Alabama versus Memphis. Alabama, you cannot. <laughs> Penny Hardaway, you got them boys playing amazing. You got them boys playing elite. You got Mikey Williams coming next year. He will be at this game. 
as a recruit. He is going to Memphis. Yeah, he That's is. so dumb. I'm going to go Alabama because, man, who doesn't like Road Tide? It's a basketball school now, baby. It really is. Ooh, Bama and Purdue for me, it was fun while it lasted. I think Alabama's going to the national championship game. I love it. I love it. And Houston, Kansas. At least we're consistent on one thing. Houston, we have a problem. You played amazing. Wait, they're still – I thought you took them out. No. Houston, uh, Houston oh yeah, beat Kansas State. Bad, bad, yeah, bad. lock in, Kobe. Now, look. I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm running out five hours of sleep. Heard you. No, It'll be like that no sometimes. No lunch. I'm hungry. Feed this man, Kobe Clark, man. Uh, I'll, anyway. throw, I'll throw my PayPal out there. <laughs> Please do. No, and his cash no. app. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, man. Uh, Houston, Kansas. Houston, like I said before, you guys do not have a star. And you have a lot of role players. And because of this, role players don't travel well. Even though you're going back home to Houston and you have a lot of fans there, I'm taking them Jayhawks, man. Ah, I'm taking Texas over Kansas. <laughs> I like the Texas story, man. I just think there's something about them that this year that they can provide. So you're bringing – so you got Bama, Kansas. I got Bama, Texas. I'm going to let you pick because I don't know which one I want to go with yet. Mm, Alabama to Kansas. It'd just be insane, man. I don't know. This looks like what people – this looks like the March Madness of, like, NCAA 14 <laughs> in basketball, <laughs> honestly. This looks like somebody just literally said, Alabama, I'm tired of hearing about them for football, so I'm going to make them good in basketball. Can we believe Alabama will be in the national championship? That's just, That's insane. But – Besides the point, Kansas, I love you guys. I love Bill Self. I love all the great alumni you have, Joel and B, Andrew Wiggins, uh, Mason, just a lot of guys that you have. But none of them are playing the national championship. So I'm going to go with that boy from Bama, who should be a number one pick this year. Forget Victor Wimbiama. I want Miller. <sighs> <laughs> Give me roll time, baby. Roll time. I love it. I love the enthusiasm you're bringing here because I don't know which one I want to go with yet. I don't know if I want to go Bama or I want to go Texas. That would be an insane game. I could just imagine the whole the southern region of the country just going to battle. I'm going to take uh, – okay, okay. All right, all right. I – so I like what Texas and their story brings. I was really promising on them. They've really figured it out, I think. And I, I don't think Kansas would match up with them well. No. I think Alabama can make it a run. I think they're finally finding out what it takes to make this team work. I think they're finally finding their culture. They had it in the beginning, but they kind of they were just weird, man. Yeah. Like, they exactly. should have won the SEC championship, but they didn't. Or, I mean, yeah, they did. I, I got them confused with Texas for some reason. My bad. But, yes, Texas both won. Alabama won. Man. Shout out, Texas. But I'm taking Bama. Alabama, roll tide. I want Brandon Miller. He is a dog. I really like Brandon him. Brandon Miller. He sold me. But I can see, I can see Texas beating Alabama. That's what made it hard for me. But I'm going to take Bama because I don't want Bama. I don't want Texas to be Bama. I, I know if I was seeing this in real life, I would hate it if Texas be Bama. I would want to see Bama win it. And they're going to run it wild. At least we can come to a truce on that. Alabama roll tight. <laughs> hey, finally me and Kobe agree with something. I mean, our brackets took a lot of lefts and rights, but at the end, Brandon Miller. That's hey, all I can say. It doesn't matter how you get there. As long as you get there. It's the journey. Talk to me. That's what Rocky say? Yeah, <laughs> CJ, thank you for coming on. It's always a blast. Uh, the one thing I remember about this one is probably Shabazz Napier. Yeah, uh, remembering him. I'm gonna go watch some highlights, and I recommend you guys do too. Please do watch Shabazz Napier because man, he had LeBron James thinking that he was the next Kyrie Irving. It's honestly, ah oh, man, I want to see a uh, quick. I mean, I took every like 12 over five. I have Oral Roberts defeating Duke, which is insane. I got Charleston over San Diego State. Drake taking on. I have Drake making it past Indiana in the second round. I'm excited. March Madness is so fun. I love it. I love March Madness, man. Take a look at our brackets on Twitter or whatever Kobe decides to post it on. Yes, sir. WZISFM. Uh, WZIS.
I'm gonna sign it right now. You know, oh, we forgot something. What did we forget? Final score. You gotta Ooh, have a final score. I don't know score. about that one, Kobe. You I wasn't expecting to. that. You gotta throw a final score out there. Mm-hmm. Who will be the final score for Alabama? This is how you know if you're correct. That accurate. I'm gonna throw out for Alabama versus Texas. That's a good one. That's a very good one. That's so good, man. I feel like they've lo- honestly been low scoring the last couple of years. I'll go 60. No, I'm gonna go 73. 70. Bama. I must sign it. I'm gonna go. Brandon Miller is a great scorer. Quirley is a great point guard. Kansas has a great defense as well. So I'm going to go 66, 60, Bama. You heard it here first. I love it. I love it. Shout out. I got Roll Tide, Alabama, taking on Texas. Roll Tide, baby. Roll Tide. So we're going to get on out of here. We have talked too long. My ears hurt. I'm hungry. I want to get food. But I want this more. (laughs) Shout out, Kobe, once again for the opportunity to come on this show with him, man. I'm so appreciative. Shout out, moms. I know she's watching. She's going to critique me after this show. She should. (laughs) And uh, shout out, Kay Mitt, my high school. I have to rock this for you guys. And, uh, yeah, we love being on this show. Oh, you were the Warriors, too? Of course. Yeah, I was too. Danville. Of course. Yeah. Hey, that's why we like Scotty and MJ, baby. That's crazy. Woo! I'm Michael, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let Gav cook. Love but, uh, yeah. I'm so appreciative, man. Thank you, Kobe, once course, again for the dog. opportunity. Of course, dog. Uh, I appreciate you coming around. Uh, there's none like you. I really appreciate that. You're a good friend. Take care, everyone, man. Just go vote. Who you think had a better bracket? I don't know why I'm looking at the screen. The camera's right there. I am <laughs> exhausted, man. Shout out CJ, shout out everyone, shout out basketball, shout out sports. We love you, man. I love it all. Till next time, everyone, at WCISFM for all your social media needs for sports here in ISU and the pro level. For CJ, I've been the Kobe Clark. Take care, everyone. We'll see you all next time.